If you come to teach, if that's the title, if that's what you're claiming your presentation is, then keep that the main focus because that's what they're coming for. If it's about learning money, it's your channel, it's your video, it's your tactic, it's your way, it's your method. But they're not necessarily interested in life skills and how to win a marriage and how to build a house. They're coming how to make money on the internet. So whatever you're teaching, make sure that you're getting straight to the point. Feed them that what they came for. Immediate, fast, instantly access. Right then and there. Give it to them. You know what I'm saying? You got to be led by the spirit. Your inner belly. That's your true brain. This thing right up here. If you don't know how to master the fleshly mind. And equip yourself in the helmet of salvation. This thing right here. You'll fail every time. You might get a bunch of money. You might feel some temporary goodness. But remember. Everything that's sugary is not sweet. And everything that glitters is not gold. There are consequences for every single thing that you do. And every one of us has a platform. Don't ever try to rise above anybody. The lower you become in the physical, the higher you become in the spirit. The more secret you become, and not trying to put on a show and display anything, or prove anything to anybody, or seek anybody's respect, or try to show off in front of anybody, or try to gain anything from anybody, everything just starts chasing you down. Heaven just starts chasing you down. Power just starts chasing you down. Promotion just starts chasing you down. Vision just starts chasing you down. So what you do with your eyes and how you look upon things, how you look upon people, that will determine the revelation and the glory and the elevation and the strength and the endurance of your vision. What you taste, what comes from your tongue, what you put in your mouth, what comes out of your mouth, will determine the spiritual waterfalls and flow of the eternal words of God, the quality, the blessing and the treasure that is due for you to receive. So what you speak, you will receive substance. Everything you release is substance that you don't see, but it's very clear in the spirit. When you speak negative, when you speak bad things, a dark substance is being released from you. And the devil will store these things up against you. That's why you always repent for everything you have said or done. And you delete and ask God to wipe his hand over every evil word, anything that is being stored up against you, anything that is being used against you. You ask God to delete it, destroy it. So that Satan will never have no evidence on you, never have a case to build against you, as long as you're repenting and asking God to forgive you and let go of those things and delete those things. Now, if you're a single man trying to serve the Lord, I feel good for you because you're going to go through hell on this earth, boy, with these lust demons. You're going to have women chasing you down. These old sexual desire. These demons are going to come at your mind. They're going to come in your desire. They're going to come at your sex organs. It's going to be agony. Now, why is that a good thing? Because the more agony, the more testing, the more pushing, the more trying you do for God, the more he reveals himself to you. The more power he reigns on you. The more Satan exposes himself and the weaker he becomes under your feet in Jesus Christ. All right? God will meet you with Stan. God will meet you wherever you are. God will meet you right there in the middle of the fire. If it's more intense, God will be more intense on you. The treasures are deeper when the war is deeper. The more battle scars, the more rankings. The more rankings, the more authority. The more authority, the more regions you begin to capture and belong to you. The more spiritual territory you will receive and inheritance from your father. Yeah, you have an inheritance, but you can gain other inheritance that weren't claimed. <laughs> yeah, you got an anointing, but you can have other anointings that people denied. Yeah, you got power of your own, but you can gain all other kind of power that people don't want, that they pass by. Because they don't notice the beauty when they're walking by that tree. They don't notice the wind when it speaks. They don't notice the water, how it flows. They don't notice the rain, how it rains. 
Not only are you of Christ as you're some kind of limited being, you are sitting on the throne with Christ, okay? You rule and reign with Christ Jesus, okay? You have more power in the Holy Ghost than all the angels, than all the beings that were ever created in the heavenly kingdom, okay? You have the same power of Jesus Christ, the Lamb, the Lion of Judah, okay? You do. See, when you start speaking about big things, the fear of the Lord will come on you. To make sure you in check, boy. Because you start talking about God, you better be represented properly. And when I say represented, not by how good your words sound, not by how you open your Bible, but your spirit, your inside, your love for God, that you really live in that life in your mind, in your soul, in your heart, in your blood, in your DNA. That you really walk in what you're talking. Because it will be tested. It will be checked. The Holy Ghost spotlight will shine. And if you ain't really living that life in your heart, in your mind, through your actions, through your words, through your deeds on the inside, you speaking corruption, boy. You plaguing the word of God, boy. You spitting on the Lord. That's what you're doing. People don't realize this. You got to take this more seriously than anything. Not to be afraid because the Holy Spirit going to have a good time while you're doing. But as long as you live in that life and you understand and you truly fear the Lord and you truly walking by Christ Jesus and you truly representing that lifestyle, God going to take care of you and he going to give you power. And people ain't going to want no war against you because they're going to know that you walk with God, boy. And every time they try to come against you, the fear of the Lord and the Holy Ghost thunderstorm starts to hit them in their chest. Jesus, there's none like you. There's none like you. Jesus, you're the only one. I'm after your heart. I thank you for your hand, Jesus, but I want your heart. I thank you that you're able to provide, but what can I provide for you? I thank you for the treasures you give me, but what treasure can I return? Oh God, you've been so good to me. Character creation. You know how you create a character in a video game where you gotta go before the black you gotta go before the blacksmith, the master creator, and say, the creator of all creation, and say, Lord, create in me deeper vitality. Create in me a longer length of dexterity and endurance. Create in me an exploration rating where I can explore and gain more artifacts. Holy oh, Ghost is up in here for sure. Create in me an extra layer to my sword so it can slice just a little bit deeper. God loves... Let me tell you something. You don't think God... God loves when you're using an imagination in prayer and you say things... Many people and the devil has blinded us to, to make us think that that's just fantasy. That's for little kids. No. When you learn to use your imagination in prayer, you will tap into a realm with God beyond imagination. You got to use your imagination as a vehicle to go beyond the imagination. <laughs> you got to use the faith as a vehicle to go beyond faith. See, the things we talk about, they are the lowest level of the supernatural. Okay, They are just the beginning seeds, the beginning vehicles to take you higher. Listen, I don't care if you've been serving God 35,000 years. I don't care if you're in the ministry, if you just started. If you're in Christ Jesus, you are on the highest level. You have more power on the greatest level than anybody or any spirit that's not in Christ Jesus, okay? It's not by your ministry. It's not by your stripes. It's not about what you did, all you did for the Lord. If you're in Christ, Christ has already obtained the greatest victory. Christ already has the greatest level of power. Christ is already in the highest dimension beyond all that. And you have that because you're in Christ. So stop going to war with everybody. Stop competing and comparing yourself to other people's ministry. Well, he's been doing it four years. I've been doing it two years. Well, I just gave my life to Christ and he's been doing it forever. So I'm never... Stop doing that and begin to realize you are in Christ. But look, you got to have somebody to teach you. You got to have somebody to mentor you. Everything I'm teaching now, well, I ain't had too many mentors. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, I ain't had a bunch of people and prophets around me in my life. Jesus Christ literally taught me everything that I know. Now I'm beginning to have mentors and stuff, but the Holy Spirit taught me everything. The best mentor in the world, how do I know all these things? If I ain't had a bunch of pastors teaching me and a bunch of mentors by my side for 10 years, how do I know all these things? Do I, have I, do I just sit around and I'm just speaking opinions? I'm just speaking things that are crazy because I'm crazy? How do I know these things? Because I spend time with God and the Holy Ghost shows me things.